rocking and rolling. Welcome back, baby. Welcome back, fellas. We Welcome back. Welcome back, baby. You hear me? Smoking sports. We back again. Back Full in the CD and noodles. You hear me? We missed a week. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how we coming, bro. With the the barbershop talk, the 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 the, the no opinion. You feel me? You know how we coming, man. The no opinion. But um. You know, I, I want to start off the show, though, bro. I want to give a little shout-out to some of our, our big black podcast, sports podcast we got. I know I'm missing a few. I ain't really do too much homework on it. But I, I did want to, you know, show some appreciation. With, uh, we got All The Smoke with Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson. Shout-out. You feel me? All The Smoke. We fucking with all that. Oh, jeez. Oh geez, we got the Gilbert Arena show, the No Chill podcast. Y'all gotta check that out. Official. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, we got uh, the I Am Athlete, Brandon Marshall, Chad Johnson, Fred Taylor. Um, damn, what's the linebacker name? I, damn. Your boy, he played the red for the dude, Jets. the red skin. The red right? skin. I forgot who he played Man, for. Man, shout out home. I, I be giving some game on the I am Alley too. If I the, can't think his name right off the top of my head. That's the only ones you got on there? You have any more on No, there? that's the only one that got on there. All right, they got one more you didn't mention. I don't know the name of it, but Darius Miles and Q Richardson. Oh, yeah, the Knuckleheads. The that nigga was called the Knuckleheads, yeah. my bad. Yeah, it is. That's it. Shout out Darius Miles it. and, uh, and Q, Q Rich, man. You yeah. hear me? Yeah. You know, the reason why I it like those not. shows for sure, even though I know it's probably some more out there, that they all are former athletes, you know, at the highest level, NBA game. So we're going to always want to hear what these dudes saying. You feel me? We always going to hear what an athlete who been through the game got to see. Even if we don't like it or not, you know what I'm saying? But we going to love that. Now, this is different. We both play ball, but we ain't make it to the NBA or nothing. We both consider ourselves good-ass, seven-walled-ass basketball players. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Talk that shit, however, you know. But it's from a, it's from a fan ball plan standpoint our podcast but you know just want to shout out the real the, the nba players who got it going on no. we listen to them too fuck we get our information from them too we want to hear what they talking about yeah. you know so hope nobody take heed and, uh, when I we talking the, about um, nba players and shit we might drag from and all that but it's all love you know we just coming I from like on some ball ticket, shop talk. i like the big ticket little show but it haven't been coming on lately. Big ticket? I used to watch it. Kevin Garnett had one. It was like Area 21 or whatever. Oh. And everybody used to go on there. But I think, like, he stopped for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. But and I LeBron like shit, man. Out. What's LeBron shit? They don't really be doing it, dude, when they bring people in the barbershop. They're they, they, they going to come to the next season. It's, uh, it's, more, it's more than an athlete. More than an athlete, something like that, yeah. Podcast, you know, yeah. LeBron, you know. But, yeah, man, I want to start it off showing some love, bro. But, uh, man, you know, we smacked in the middle of the NBA playoffs, bro. You know, last time we was here, we was talking about who was going to win it with Dallas and the Clippers. I'm sorry, y'all. Milwaukee, know. bro. Forgive me, bro. I went against them people. Look, you know I had, I, 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 C tried to tell me, bro. I mean, it ain't, ain't over, bro. It, it ain't over. Looking bad. They just won. Yeah, but, you know. They won the night, you hear me? 86, 83. <laughs> I, I still think they lucked up and won, but you never knew what could happen. You know what I'm saying? The net's still down to Harden. I still don't see Milwaukee, you know, messing with them people. I, I see it Nets in five, but, you I know, it may happen. I my money with them people. But uh, <laughs> Brooklyn tough, man. Brooklyn, Brooklyn tough. tough. Do I see it? Let yeah. me see. Brooklyn tough. The last man. time it was Dallas and Clippers. Dallas was up like 2-1. Clippers come back, beat them in a game seven. Luca had a historic series, you know. So that's all we're now. Clippers are down right now. Look like they're gonna be down 2-0 to Utah. Who's Donovan Mitchell is coming to play. You feel me? Mm -hmm. now, I ain't lying. Oh, look, Spider Clippers Mitchell. coming back right now. They playing right now. Clippers coming back. Clippers was down by 19 in the second quarter. Now they they only down by six. So that's a game. So yeah, um, speaking on that, them 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 boys, uh, Brooklyn. I didn't think you know, 
that it was gonna come together like this, bro. Like it, they, they they playing real good together. KD just looked like he, nothing happened to the Achilles, right? Oh, the way KD moving, bro. I'm saying to KD, not saying Achilles ain't gonna hurt anybody. I do something that, man. He just an assassin, bro. Like I feel like if his if his leg was hurting and he had to limp out there, he gonna still score on you. Yeah, he's seven feet because he can shoot. Over <laughs> yeah, he, he gonna want. learn how to score on you, like with this one leg. No, put it like this: if KD legs was to ever slow down, he can turn his he can turn it to Anthony Davis. Fucking, I'm down here now. If he no, had to do it. No, no, I don't see that. I understand what you're saying. It will be in a little different way to me, though. Right. I would think it would be more LaMarcus Aldridge. He then. could be Jokic. If they used him that way. <clears throat> Can't be Jokic. Not strong enough. To and, save, um, to save he slow down. Does that mean Jokic is body and everything? Boom. Give another me, thing, you know, bro, we, gotta give, we, got, we have to give a shout out. To Brooklyn supporting cast, bro. I doubt it, y'all. I doubt it, Brooklyn supporting cast. Whatever that dude's name is, James, uh, Claxton, them guys playing, bro. Brooklyn Nets supporting cast? The Brooklyn Nets supporting cast. I got I to gotta give a shout out to their supporting cast. They playing. Man, come on, man. They playing good. Yeah, I could I could make some shots on that team. But still. Right they, now. You got to go out there and do it. Dude. I could do it. You gotta go out there and do fuck it. Fuck these supporting cast, man. What the fuck? They got KD, Kyrie, and Harden. Fuck Harden these support. Out. Harden out. Yeah, right where they got KD so we and Kyrie. About these two games, they support. They got cast. KD so and the, Kyrie. All right, you saw the night why they lost, huh? They them dudes been playing so good. They let him get the game winner, James. <coughs> they gave him the ball tonight. For Who that? The, James. <coughs> when they was down one point, they he went didn't to, get that dude the ball. They. They was about to run a play so he can give it to somebody. He missed it. Right, right. He ran over there. Kyrie had to get it, gave it back to him. Then he just went to the rim and sold out. His name ain't Jan. Well, it must be Brown, his last name. Brown, and they got the other one, James. Bruce Brown, Jim. Yeah. Bruce Brown. Yeah, something like that. I don't even know who James is. I ain't watched like that. I know Joe Harris is. Joe Harris. You can see, balling. I know who Blake Griffin is. Balling. No DeAndre Jordan is. I'm talking about right now, the pieces around them is playing better. Everything outside Kyrie and Durant is playing better than what I thought. That's why I picked Milwaukee in this series. I thought Milwaukee, other guys, was better. When when I go past their primetime players, I thought Milwaukee players was going to play better, though. But Brooklyn, Brooklyn bench is playing better. Not saying no, no, no. Are they? Are they playing better? Brooklyn Look, bench. Bobby Portis. He led the league in three point percentage, and, and 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 he was like second to Steph in threes made this year. Bobby Portis. Look what he's doing right now. This game, I mean, what the Nets people had. I'm saying they bench not showing up like the Milwaukee Bucks bench played during the season. That's what I was talking about. Mike James, he showed up last game. Game one or something, he went clean out. Mike James. I got to look at it because I, I, I didn't see much of that game either, but. <coughs> he beat him hand it. I mean, KD and Kyrie went off. I knew that. Oh, yeah, you know that. The oh, fuck? You know that, brother. I want to talk about Philly, too, bro. Uh, Philly, man. Philly better have Philly came bounce back. back. Bounce back brother. Philly bounce back, He about to fucking give Trey Young Michael Jordan award or something. Like, he just... You know, I fucks with Trey Young, but, man... You know, all the respect he was giving this boy, like, man, you know, Trey Young, you know, you can hear it in the streets and shit, too. Trey Young, this Trey Young, that's said, yeah, Trey Young. I fucks with Trey Young, but, man, the people got in BJ. I don't look at it like that series was over or nothing, though. No. It was going to be, you know, 
must win game. I'm gonna keep it real. I size Philly up, bro. My opinion. This is how I feel about Philly. The whole playoff run come down to what Tobias Tobias Harris gonna get him every night. The whole playoff run. If 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 he be that. I don't if, think that's true. If, if he be that 22, 23 points and eight <coughs> rebounds, nigga, a night, yeah, they're going to beat, they beat niggas. Nah, that's true. If he if he's scoring, it's going to be harder to beat him. But they got more than Tobias Harris, and they he a do. dog. But he got to be that, Seth Curry. that second nigga. To Seth Curry can come and give you 30. Right. He just did. He had 30 last game. Like, they got more talent than you're thinking about. But I'm saying, when the team really, really, like, when they don't want to throw it in, when they want to get a bucket on the perimeter, they're going to Tobias. Yeah, they're going to Tobias. You know, he Tobias. The, the perimeter we're drawing up a play for the game winner, we going to Tobias. Fuck no. you going to MB. Every time. All right, the ball going to be in Tobias' hands, and we looking for MB. Or however that go. You know, he going to have I mean, that option. Gonna have MB, they going to try to double him. It's, you know. And like you Tobias, you go ahead on and do your thing. Yeah, Tobias, Tobias. And he nice to me. Man, too. y'all people got to be, man. Tobias should be scorching niggas. And what's that other? Um, Real talk. Um, shake, shake, shake Milton. He cool. Shake Milton for him, number 18. Little cool look guard be coming in shooting that thing for him and all that. And then they got that foreigner. I like that foreigner, though. Number 30, I don't even know his name. The foreigner, who's just has some shit. Mm. Man, wet for Philly. Him and Curry, that's their shooters. Philly, man. Trey Young, them John Collins, them the boys. I got, Atlanta. I got Atlanta winning game three. In Atlanta. First game in Atlanta. Trey Young pulling it from Babusi. He gonna be shooting that thing from Babusi and them sitting at timeline. Nah. Yeah, I wonder how this going with the uh with the seat, man. I see Utah had a uh, eighteen thousand people at the arena. Yeah, they got a full capacity. Full but capacity. Atlanta Mel say they she ain't doing that. They only gonna have like nine thousand or some shit, I think. Utah out there, man. It's loud. That's the, that's the first home game in in a, in a year or something. Just like Madison. I mean, um, what that was the Staples Center, LeBron. Them they only had forty five hundred fans in the in the in this when they was playing. You know, that's big. That's why I feel like Utah. Utah got a good chance to beat the Clippers, man. man. I, listen, like I know the Clippers going to the championship. When I checked the odds on the internet, the Vegas odds, when they had the second best odds to Brooklyn, Vegas already told you Utah going to the finals. Bars come back to you. Utah got the second best odds. To Brooklyn. Brooklyn plus 175 and Utah plus 300 or something. The next one after them. I fucking with Utah. I ain't believe in them. But uh, <coughs> what would make me believe in him? What Donovan Mitchell doing? For sure, yeah, forty five when he came back. You know, his first his game first he had forty five, and he they only had, played like twenty six. I mean, no, he I didn't play them in the minutes though. But before. they only had a hundred and eight points or something, or whatever the fuck they had. I can't really remember. At 112, yeah, 45 of that. Yeah, 27 at the half the night. You know. Utah That's, just like they playing, they playing some Spurs type of ball right now. Yeah. Utah playing some Spurs type of ball right with a, now. With a D Wade type of leader. Yeah, everybody could do something. They gonna now. be tough, bro. I mean. Them and Phoenix make it. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a good series. But believe it or not, they probably is the best matchup for Brooklyn in the championship. That's what I was thinking about. For his bodies, oh, let's see them white boys, Bogdanovic and them them niggas six nine, six seven, six. You know, <laughs> Rudy go better than. Then you got Mike Conley. Yeah, he like a Chris Paul. That's why they're trying to. If 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 we can win without him, like tonight, long as they keep winning, they ain't gonna play him. 
That's a hamstring. If we win him without him, hold him. Because we going to need him down the line. Mike Conley. They win it without Mike Conley. Mike Conley is. That's just like Brooklyn. It's tough. Don't make no mistakes. Shoot the ball well. Could create. Could get his own shot. James Harden ain't coming back in this series unless the Bucks take the lead in the series. Three to two. That's the only way I think they put him back out there. Because they was optimistic or something I seen. Steve Nash optimistic about Harden. Woo, 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 woo. Harden ain't coming back to the next series, man. KD and Kyrie. No, I was there. just giving you, just say they go six or seven. Oh, yeah, he's going to have to come back. But yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to predict it where I don't yeah, think they're going to need to. Yeah, so you feel like four to one, Brooklyn. Yeah. Dudes ain't ready, dog. This is what I told, I was telling Marty. I said, man. The big game shit. Yeah, Bucks may have better supporting cast on paper after KD Kyrie Hart. And I said, but I'm like, it ain't that far off because you do got Blake Griffin, somebody give you buckets. DeAndre Jordan gonna do his thing. Joe Harris, one of the best shooters out here. But they still top heavy, bro. They got KD Hart and then Kyrie. They top heavy. They top heavy with with, with a few more veteran good players. <laughs> with Reggie Miller, Joe and then, boom, The Bucks, right? <laughs> the Bucks. They got a bunch of players who ain't been they ain't never did this. Ain't you know, they still this might be too big for them. Even with Chris Middleton, you know, yeah, yeah, Chris Middleton the second best player on the team and he liked that. But look what happened. First game, you can't do that when you D Wade and LeBron. Both of y'all, the way bad game probably was, yeah, yeah, 19 <laughs> tonight. Right. LeBron right. and Chris Bosh had 24 and 30, you know what I'm saying? But I think I don't know what Middleton finished with, 12 or some shit, or 13 or Middleton something. haven't been showing up, bro. Now, he showed up this game. They won the night. Him and uh, Giannis did their thing, but they only had 86 points. So I'm you. trying to tell him, P.J. Tucker, all these other dudes that's behind them, they not ready. They ain't ready, right. Just because y'all think they're a little bit better than Brooklyn, fifth through eighth player. It don't fucking Mad matter about the fifth through eighth player <laughs> when you got KD, Kyrie, and Harden. Them dudes going to have 80 by themselves. And most of the games, you ain't catch all, you know. Right. And, it's, you know, they really... They kind of beat them handily the first two games. Let me ask you this. Should have beat them tonight. Uh, how you feel about, did, did you see this coming with Phoenix, like dominating Denver the way, they, the way they're doing? I didn't see it coming. I seen them beating them. I didn't see this domination coming, the way they just dominated them the first two games. Bro. No lie, bro. I can't, I can't figure Denver out. I can't figure them out. Can't figure them out, bro. You know, he got a. Cause I feel like Denver got a lot of talent. I think Will Barton back now. You know, he. I don't think he played in the playoffs yet. He and probably didn't play. Will Barton, I ain't seen him on the floor yet. Yeah, he played. Oh, he played the other night. Yeah, he played. All right. And. I feel like Denver a good team where you shouldn't be getting blowed out. Nah, the first game y'all yeah, played around third. with them. Played well, but them dudes went on a nice run at the end of the third, finished the game real strong. Couldn't finish strong. But in the second game, just like, he just gave up like, fuck it. You know, I ain't really get it. But. Buck up, bro. Shout out to D Buck. D book, you doing your thing. D book, you trying to. I don't know what you trying to show the world, but you showing us. Ooh, that's why I say, boy, that Olympic team, bro. We ain't never talk about that, but you know they about to have the Olympics this summer because they're COVID. So I'm saying you got Booker, you got Donovan Mitchell. We know Harden, them ain't gone. They hurt. Harden, um, when no stuff gonna go, you know what I'm saying, but. Man, I'm just saying, Booker got to be on now. Donovan Mitchell was on the other one, I think, or on one, or the FIBA or whatever. So I think he going to be on that boy. Yeah, I mean, Olympic team shit, Donovan, Booker, 
Right. You gotta think about a young dudes, you know. And they were saying something about your boy, uh, Aiton. Pretty sure they're probably Andy Davis had Zion too. Yeah, Aiton from the um, Suns. Yeah. Aiton, yeah. Zion, <laughs> even Brandon Ingram, young. Uh, D. Lilla, I uh, think he won't play. D. Lilla, I think D. Lilla still young play. enough to probably yeah. won't do it. Yeah, he won't do it. You know, if any vet or somebody won't do it. And I remember the other day you got on my head. Steph Curry. When I was like, uh, Kyle Lowry going to be back here. Uh, he won the gold medal. He, you ain't, Kyle Lowry, I'm sorry, but you can't be on this one. Yeah, like Kyle Lowry, you know, Kyle Lowry. Yeah, off, see, but. see, yeah, bam, bam. I like Bam on that. I young. like Bam on that. You know what I'm saying? Jason T. No, is Jason Tatum? Fuck that yeah, right. Jason Tatum. I, I don't know why I was thinking he was fucking right. That's why I see. another nationality. That's why I see. Him, him, Bill, Mitchell, and D. Book. That's, the, you know. Yeah, that's crazy right there. That's, that's, the, new, that's the new people. That's the new With people. Zion and Brandon Ingram. Right. Joe Harris for sure to know. Clay. But Clay ain't can't play this year. So you can't got the X Clay out for the shooters. Shooters, I mean. Fuck, Bill and Donovan Mitchell. <laughs> and Tatum, huh? that's the shooters. Huh? <laughs> they putting the yeah, balls I in mean, the hoop. <laughs> that's the shooter. Tatum a shooter? Zach Levine, that's cold as you is, you can't make it. No, Zach Levine might be one of them who can make it. Zach, who we gonna go over, Donovan? It's gonna be a, ain't no going over. It's gonna be multiple positions. There. Well, I just gave you the four niggas. That's gonna be in them roles. Who? Donovan Tatum. Tatum played a three and shit, four and shit. You gotta think Jimmy Butler might make it too, son. Man, Jimmy Butler ain't gotta fuck with that. Jimmy Butler, older cat. Durant definitely ain't fucking with it. I don't think. I don't think he be fucking with it. Yeah, you know, shit a lot. Them type of niggas don't be want to fuck with it. Kemba, Kemba can fuck with it. Uh, you know, oh, Kemba ain't. Russ can Russ still fuck with it? Uh, Coach K and I'm like Russ. If he won't play, I'm saying. He Russ. He still got clout. He, you know, he Russ. Oh, man, I don't want to Russ, man. <laughs> See, just hard on Russ, y'all. You hear me? See, just hard on Russ. But Russ can make that thing. Russ can make All it. All right, so. you know we bring Russ in for? You strictly playing defense. You call with Brian defense out of shit. That's it. Mm-hmm. Pass the rock. Store your couple of alleys that you don't. That's it. On you can, you, I mean, it's the best team you're going to ever play on. Yeah, I'm tripping. You got to go. You know, yeah. It's the best team you're going to ever play on, man. You saw Kobe out there, man, trying to lock shit up. It's Kobe, man. Kobe could eat us in, man. This is my shit. Pass me the ball. I'm going to click. Woo, woo, woo. Or whatever. I ain't say I got a click, but this and bitch we, running uh, through me. Coach. One name we didn't see. What if Kyrie won't play? Kyrie Coach K, play. you know that. Kyrie could play. And this probably Kyrie. Be Coach K last Olympic year. If it's his last year, do. Yeah, his yeah, last year, be. He probably still do the Olympic shit. I want to see why he would want to do that. But that's, yeah, Kyrie, Kyrie, one of the younger ones. Kyrie probably about to be touching 30 or so. You know, so he can still Olympic material. <clears throat> Kyrie like probably you don't said, fuck with that shit. Of course, Zion, you know that. But what about Ja? What Ja chances is? Ja, man, Ja could be in there. Ja, all that shit. Ja should be on the Olympic team. Yeah, hey, Ja, one of the best point guards in the league. Fuck talking. How old he is? Right. <laughs> right. Ja gonna do his thing. Yeah. Hey. You know. Ja gotta be. I'm gonna say, maybe. You got to be top 10. You got to be like 10 or something. I'm, I'm going to have to go over it to really put it in there. But, man, Jock, top 10 point guard in the league. Jock, nice, bro. You know, yeah. That's all, you know, I don't know. I can't remember how they feel with the vets and shit with the Olympic team. But, yeah, man. I had one. But, Devin Booker, bro. See, bro. <laughs> Dude, you balling, son. <laughs> Dude, balling, son. Dude took his, like, I don't even, when I watch him, I be trying to figure out who I see in him, dog. Like, that boy got, like, Kobe, Michael Jordan, 
type shit type game, son. I'ma keep it real. I thought that dude got a Kobe Bryant. Well, I never really Michael thought about Jordan type of Booker. Yeah, of course so, he got Kobe in him. I see his Kobe. Yeah, in him. and I see <coughs> so he be doing some. <coughs> Damn, bro, it's crazy, bro. Kobe gone, but you don't you don't really notice how special somebody is. Like even saying Devin Booker remind you of Kobe. Kobe, right? Man, Kobe was so much better. Ain't that crazy? We're so much more entertaining. This Kobe used to be p- poking on me. But I ain't gonna lie. I mean, like putting his nuts on shit. One thing that boy Booker got, with like that coach told you, <laughs> that bitch got a billion dollar jump shot. Say son, when it leave his hands, son, his release, his stroke, and every, his shooting, he he got it. He got the natural. And yeah, but tell me this. You think Kobe gonna sit here and think you can shoot better than him? Mm-mm. It don't matter. That look good. But I'm saying the entertaining part and better at a younger age, Kobe used to be dunking on niggas. 40 points. Look, this 45. Why, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Check this out. This is what I respect about Booker. He was 20 or uh, 21 years old when he dropped that 72. Early in the game, as soon as he come in the league, he did that. That would put, he put some respect on his name. That's right number now. five in the NBA history. I'm going to tell you, look, Will Chamberlain, Kobe, David Robinson, remember when I told you he scored the 76? <laughs> then, then, then Booker. Then Booker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Will probably got Then Jordan it. with the 63 with Boston. Right, and I think Will probably got it twice in there or something. Yeah, Will. I think Will, Will had, Will, what you Will, saying? Will had the 100, right? Will had the 100 and like And he probably had the 80 or something or something too, I think. If he, the fifth probably high, 71. Yeah, man. Look at that. Kobe really had 80 or something, man. What the fuck? 81. 81. Hey, that's crazy. But Kobe was one of a fucking kind, but died down. If we go to the gym right now, I ain't gonna be able to score eight and one. Just me and you. <laughs> <laughs> Just me and C. I ain't gonna score yeah. eight and one. Yes, indeed. You hear me? Look, we go to the gym right now. If you cut the clock on and give me minutes, I ain't gonna have eight and one. And we ain't playing against nobody. We just practicing. For sure. For sure. How for you sure. do that in the game with niggas running behind you, checking you, <laughs> yes, and everything? Yes, indeed, bro. You score 81, bro. <laughs> Man. 81? I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna have 81 by my Keep it real. Seven. On some projection. I'm scoring 100 on, 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 on some prediction shit, I think before Steph, I think before Steph lead the game, he gonna try to do that one night. He gonna challenge the scoring record. He gonna try to score that eight. That's a good thing. You cause I could see Steph one night, man. We playing all the people out. <laughs> Coach, I'm going for the eight of the night. We play. I'm trying to go for eight of the night. I'm trying to hit COVID record. See, I don't and them think, niggas be doing all I mean, that, man. I think you could try that, but I yeah. think that's gonna come organically. It's like, man. For no, fun. this how to go. I done fucked around. Not in school. 23 in the first quarter. That's it. That's how I got to have it. Coach, I'm going for the record. <laughs> I'm going for the record. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but man. I feel like he I do that every night. Yeah, <laughs> say so. yeah he... Because not it's always a record he's trying to get. Now I'm trying to have, I need the most threes in the game. I don't think he got, well, do he got it or do Clay got it? I think Clay got it. Clay scored the 37 in the quarter. I That's think Clay, Clay got him with like 13 Man, or something. He Lord. got it 12. I think all of them got it like Buku times with Son. 11 and shit, 10. So, because they be asking Steve Kerr and that shit all, all that. They be like, Son. yeah, I think he going to break one time. But it's going to catch it. He going to catch it when he hit like 10 in the first half. Clay, 37 in the quarter. Yeah, Clay. Man, that was a fucking Superman. I don't like, think nobody going to ever do that again. Is it twenty more years on that? And what he had? What he ended up with? They say he only dribbled the ball five three times, four or five times. He only dribbled the ball like four or five times and scored thirty-seven points that quarter. All catches it. 
ping. Come around here. Oh, all right, catch it by half court. <laughs> Man. <laughs> That's why I say they're going to be right back in the fucking championship hunt next year. <laughs> they're going to be right back in that business. I don't care who you, like you said with Durant now, it don't matter who play with them two. <laughs> and you know, niggas be ready to come back. They just rush, rush certain people back. They just rush certain people back. And all that, bro, I think that, you know, being real cautious with Clay. Because I seen a baseball player in college the other day. He tore his ACL. He was supposed to have surgery, but he never missed a game. He been playing with a tore ACL. Like, you remember that game when Clay got hurt? Clay was jumping in the locker room. Clay was begging them to go out there and still play. But his daddy was like, no, and shut it down. Clay ain't going to play. Can't Clay still shot the free throws, remember? He walked through the hall. He was jumping out the gym, jumping and everything on it, walking, running. Had him all right. It was like, uh uh. You know what I'm saying? But Clay, I'm just saying, Clay gonna be the same Clay. Yeah, Clay. Ain't no, Clay gonna be Clay. Ain't no, the injury, no. No, indeed. Clay Cole, I, I respect I Clay. I think going to be tough next year. <laughs> I respect sure. Clay. I respect Clay. Clay coming so. back. They have Steph, Andrew Wiggins. They had the big man back, Wiseman. Steph Curry, Draymond Green. Shit, that's a, that's a, and the, and you don't that's know who they going to swindle, swindle in. That's a squad right there, man. That's a squad, yo. And um, who they two guard was? Who they had? They've been having that little dude. I forgot what that look the 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 little cold little dude, man, number three or something. He nice. I forgot his name, but uh Clay gonna be Clay, boy. Yeah, man. Clippers Clippers Jazz. It's a game in the full quarter. Man, it's not right now. Clippers gotta show up, bro. Yeah. Clippers gotta show up. Look at that. Reggie Paul Jackson. George, you been the third man every game. Nigga, Reggie Jackson out playing you right now. Reggie Jackson out playing. Reggie Jackson is out playing Paul George right now in this in these playoffs. Reggie Jackson showing up, man, every night. Reggie Jackson, man, play with Biko, man. Boston College. I remember. Come on in that league and got that money, bro. But uh, I still think some drama about to go on in these playoffs. It ain't about to just go how it seen. Ain't nothing how it seen. LeBron out. Yeah, it ain't about to just go how it seen. Ain't you know, no, Milwaukee LeBron got out. What you mean? Yeah, it's different. They, Milwaukee got this lucky win. Now they might finally play their good game and tie the series, you know? Yeah, that's how it go. That's how it goes, you know, for sure. And the house came out looking good. What if they don't win another game? That's possible. Them yeah. dudes got Embiid, You man. know, this Philly. <laughs> I fucks with Embiid, bro. Like, you know? You really can't stop this dude, bro. Like, if y'all can make open shots I and told shit. y'all had y'all laughing, bro. He's supposed to be averaging the most points in NBA history. <laughs> man, come on. He's man. supposed to be. Listen, yeah, son. Bro, bro. Listen. <laughs> They never had nothing like him. He's seven feet, something, 300, moving around, Euro stepping. He shoot 88% free throw from the line. You can't send him to the line. He 88% from the line. Wet. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he unstoppable to me, dog. Like, yeah, he's, he to me, he's supposed to be scoring 10 points a quarter. Easy. He fuck, he's doing it. Yeah, 45 the night. Yeah, that's what, what I'm saying. That, that's why I say average. But <laughs> nobody averaged the, 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 I don't think nobody ever averaged like the 36 a game. Yeah, you supposed to be averaging like 36, 37 a game. Man, that's, you know. Because you could give him, you, listen, son. You don't have to do that every night, dude. You, like, you ain't got to do that every night. Right. Y'all mean right. come out, come He's on around. He's going the most far the first game in NBA three, history. Woo, woo, woo. I ain't even had to score that much. They got four people on me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't got to score that much. You see what game. that Diesel used to do when he get that bitch, huh? You seen what the Diesel used to do, huh? 
Yeah, Shaq was that guy. Mm. And, B, and B could do the same thing plus more. You know what they said, though? Shaq or B, I don't want to say the wrong number. Shaq could be like 7,000 points in front of everybody if he shot with him B shot, like if he was an 80%. If he was an 80% free throw shooter. <sighs> He'll be five thousand points in front. Kareem, all of them with the points. With the nobody, Michael Jordan, none of them. He'll have all the points. Damn, that's cool. So, so that's why I feel like they, they say he left ten thousand points on the free throw line. That's crazy, bro. Ooh, Clippers took the lead. Google that, my guy. That's crazy. How many points Shaq left on the on the free throw line? You know how crazy that is, dude. Cause. And being that ain't even nothing if you the best line. ever or not, like. <laughs> yeah, it was like you. <laughs> poor Shaq. Now, Shaq, you're up there for sure. You, 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 you probably, you know, you're one of the best centers ever to play the game. One of the best players ever. That's why game. I put the dream over him. That one thing. Shaq was more dominant than the dream. The dream had the skills, but the dream could shoot that fucking ball, son. The dream had to turn around in the baseline counter. You know that. Could put you on the block. That's the dream, man. Yeah, you couldn't check him. <laughs> couldn't check him, son. Then he gone to the line. What? He like him be eighty eight percent at the line. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The dream played that D too. And the dream played that D. Yeah, see that's tough. Shaq and Dream. They there so go different. right there. How many free throws Shaq missed? That's gonna tell you. Hey, right there. Down. People. People also, also ask. It's probably the answer. Probably gonna be the right there. Yeah. Yeah, that answer gonna be like that. So they only saying. No, man, ain't yeah, no that, way. Yeah, that can't be right. Yeah, they only said 216 games. That can't be right. You know you played more than that. That's just three seasons. Yeah, you gotta go back up. All the time, yeah. Shaq missed over 5,300 yeah, shots. Yeah, that go right there. Shaq missed over 50. I told you it was 5,000. Nah, but that, that says shots, so that may not mean free throws. It may be more than that. <laughs> it was talking about it, dude. If you would have made free throws or something. You the average one point six more. Well, I'm telling you, around he left, he left five over five thousand points on the free throw line. Man, I saw it. Shit, Chad. Serious. So, but yeah, man, Shaq, Shaq was that was that guy, bro. But I won't, I won't pick it back on that, bro. They've they been hard on my dog, LeBron, bro. They try to think LeBron legacy over the he this, he that, he ain't got it no more. He, I, I don't know what they trying to say, bro, but man, I mean, you go out there and play by yourself and see if that you can just come. constantly keep getting it with these super teams and all these yes, well put good. together teams who young and can play. Man, come on, man. You know, and these dudes ain't get doing nothing but getting better and better, bro. Yeah, man. Dog changing his number to number six. You know, I'm not sure why, but he gonna come back. They gonna come back strong as ever, man. LeBron, bro. You know. Oh, they gonna get that third. Uh, what's her name? Jeannie. You know. Jeannie about to drop a bomb. He talking about Jeannie bust. Do this. Uh, <laughs> mess up his career and all this here. I, let me just hit you with something, bro. LeBron has been in the finals 10 times. He only he played 18 seasons. Right. 10 out of 18 seasons, he been in he the finals. Four, he four for 10, huh? He four for six. Four for six, yeah. Four out of he, 10. Yeah. 10 times. Eight times in a row. From 11 to 18... It was LeBron in the fucking finals, dog. <laughs> that's un... Come on, man. That's crazy. Eight years in a row, he was in the finals. In the finals. Against super teams, against whatever you want to call it, the best team, the regular season team, all that. You know what I'm saying? 
he got more finals appearances than number six because of Bill Russell and Dr. He, G. He got more finals appearances than all the NBA teams, but four teams. Him. Only people got more is the Lakers, Celtics, Warriors. He really fought with 10. LeBron, next in line, the 76ers got nine. Knicks got eight. LeBron got 10. How many Robert Ory playing in? Robert Horry played, played in about eight to ten in the bridge, too. Yeah, two I with mean. Houston, to three, two with the Spurs, two, two with LA. Yeah, Robert Horry got six or seven rings or something. Yeah, and I think he lost two. I don't know if he lost, though. That's crazy, huh? No, he was gone when Detroit beat him up. He wasn't he, on yeah, that he team. Probably was on, yeah, he that was with Gary Payton, Carl Malone, and all them. He wasn't on that team. He was gone. There. So it's more like Bill Russell got 11. So it's more players with more <clears throat> appearances than these franchises. Mm. But talking about LeBron. LeBron, man, man the best man, ever. Yeah, man. the best ever, man. He the best ever, bro. So, you know, y'all can say what y'all want. The LeBron critics in here just to say his legacy over with. I can tell you this, though, if it's over with, it's a damn good legacy. It's probably the best one. Yeah, so LeBron can hang it up after this year and then announce right before the season, look, it's over. It's I'm cooling with my family and my son. Man, he could go hang it up and be and and it ain't too many people gonna catch him in nothing. You gotta be K D ish. You know. Oh damn, Derek Fisher. Derek Fisher done played in Buku. Derrick Fisher, number two to LeBron. Derrick Fisher yeah, played. Never, Damn, Derrick Derr, Fisher, Derr Fisher played in four, seven. He got the most playoff appearances, too. Derrick Fisher played in 100 and something, 170 something games. LeBron done played in the most, now I think. LeBron done played in 180 or something. <clears throat> playoff game. Jordan played 120. You know them Spurs, you know them Spurs boys on that. Tony Parker, Manu, Tim Duncan. You know them Spurs boys on that. This is playoff game. Huh? This is playoff game. Yeah, yeah. 259. 260, 259. Very official. Oh, I saw. And what, so what Mike was? 179. Right, I had it wrong. Mike was 179. They was 260 and shit. I'm going to tell you why, though. Because when Mike played, only five that. Games. The only thing round. with seven games was the, with the finals. No. Yeah, the only thing with seven games was the finals. Until until they put no, everything man. seven. Yeah, tell them who. No, man, I thought the, it was just the first round was no, just five. That's the it. whole playoffs, five. Then the finals, seven. Then they switched it, man. Everything seven now. Damn, hold up, bro. You sure? I, I think it's just the first round. Uh uh-uh. uh. It was every round but the finals. But the finals. No, man. We got to double check that. That's why he never went to game seven. He'll go up. Man, he- ain't no way, bro. Uh uh-uh. uh. Man, that's a that's a big old flaw. We're going to rep that. Because I thought, I'm really thinking it's just the first round. First round was the only round that was five. That's what I thought. Y'all telling me something I didn't know. I thought it was just the first round was five, then it was seven, seven, seven. It was it was first round, then it was semifinals, Eastern Conference Finals, finals. See, it I, it was something either. All of them was five. At first, in the finals was seven. Then they went to no, just the first round. Then they went to no, all of them seven. Type, type in five game series change or something. You know, it might come up. NBA five game, NBA series change. Because, dog, how we going to rip off the man that ain't never had no game sevens when it only happened in the finals? Boy, that can't be true. Cause that ain't even nothing to rep all. But you, he had to, it, that ain't his fault, the league was. Why the first round must go back to five? 
I know for sure it was that. Now, I don't know if it was always. No, go 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 to Wikipedia about the NBA playoffs. Go back. Wait, down there. That's going to tell you about how the whole playoffs went. The 2-1-1, when they went away from it. The history, see? Format. Oh, man, that shit was going to get straight to the point with the other one, bro. That's everything. He could have. It was talking about what we was talking about. And I was answering the question we was talking about. If you go back, what you was clicking on. Right. I mean, you go there. Oh, yeah. I don't want the Wikipedia down there. But I ain't gonna lie. All right, so from this, we know it was just the first round at that particular time. Mm -hmm. Maybe way before that, you think it was the whole thing besides the finals. But I, I think it was just the first round. Format change. See, look, all of them five. Oh, yeah. All of them five to get to to the finals. See, four to two. Yeah. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. No, that could mean you just won it in four. Yeah, no, no, no that's seven game series. What you mean they had to win four? Yeah, that's a seven game series. Yeah, they had to win four. It was just the first round. They just beat them four one. Yep. Yeah, just the first round, three. Four out of seven. Yeah, I knew that, man. Like, uh. -uh. So, you know, that's Coach a little better, Jordan. You ain't just not. That's why that don't even, you know, hell yeah. But, um, that was exactly with it, but, but, to the bride, she don't matter. Phoenix. Let's do it. Put Trap and Booker, can Phoenix, boy? Can Phoenix go and win it? <clears throat> You know what? It's Chris crazy, bro. Nobody um, in my head, I think, could win it besides Brooklyn. I can't. I mean, only one team could win it, so I'm thinking Brooklyn. So when you when you say anything about somebody else, I be like, <laughs> no, I feel like Brooklyn. You can't be Brooklyn. Chris Paul, look, Chris Paul might can get that this year. That's my, you know, it's my man's, bro. But damn, you gotta play Brooklyn. KD so, now. KD now. Man, bro. come on, man. You have to have you ain't a got LeBron on your team. team to be. Then you ain't got LeBron on your team. You need LeBron on your team to be going against them dudes. That's how I feel. You ain't got him, you ain't really got, you know, you don't got a chance. That's the super team beater. I don't know. What if the Clippers get there and Kawhi and them have something to see? Can't beat them. Kawhi and them ain't ready for that shit, man. No fucking KD or nobody, man. Kawhi gonna be on it. Man, Kawhi gonna get the business. Every team they playing right now, giving them dudes the business. Ooh. Donovan giving them the business. Luca gave them the business. But look, man, let's touch a little football right quick before we get out of here, bro. Julio to the goddamn Titans, bro. That AFC is fucking loaded, man. <sighs> They loaded. They, I mean, Pat Mahomes, them, like, we ready. We got the best back in the league, the most dominant back with the best receiver in the league. Man. Argue with whoever you want to argue with about it. Fuck, you can say that. protege. You know Mike what I'm Yeah, with a D out this world with <laughs> some more offense with A.J. Brown. Man, these dudes got a squad, man. Yeah, and they've been I, getting there without Julio. Uh, I like that guy, Dory Jackson. Dory you know, Jackson. Dude, been in the man, man, since USC. With a coach and with a D. Yeah. You know, the coach and D. 
Man, Julio to the Titans, bro. This football season is gonna get more crazy and crazy as we go, man. Mm-hmm. I see it. We we about ninety days out mm-hmm. or something like that from uh. Like I said, start the, the AFC, season. AFC North might be the toughest in the in division of football. That in the NFC uh East. The NFC East, man. You got Frisco. You got Arizona, who just looked like the best team in the league on paper. Then you got Seattle with Russell Wilson. And you got San Francisco with the genius over there, Shanahan, with the offensive genius over there, Shanahan. Yeah, it's about to be a, a different crazy season. No Drew Brees, Winston. Just going to be different, but nice. Dak back. Just Carson hit. Wentz to the Colts. You, that division. Carson Wentz to the Colts. You know, I, I like what I'm saying, man. Joe Burrow coming back with a, with a, with a receiving cool young boy. You know, it's like you root That's for the it, young bro. boy to do something, man. Like the the breaks to do some some young boy stuff, like what Pat Mahomes doing. You yeah, root for that type of stuff. Speaking of the young boys, and I'm a um, like something like you was telling me how the kids now doing way more than what we was doing. We was balling, but they you know they smarter. They get to study the game a little bit more than us. I think that translates on all levels, though. Like. These dudes ain't getting nothing but better. Like, I think the Justin Fields and stuff like that, with technology and that, it's all right there on the platter for you to come right in and do good, dog. For real, dog. Like, what these dudes ain't really see, they just don't have the experience. They just got to go through it. Ain't nothing they ain't see. It's technology, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's why Pat Mahomes and these dudes, Dudes coming straight in, <laughs> doing it. I think Justin yeah, Fields the getting the right thing situation. Probably change is the speed. It's probably the speed is everywhere. You know, it feel a little different. You know, <coughs> but <coughs> hell yeah. I want to see what that boy gonna do. I want to see what Sam Donald gonna do because I always believed in Sam Donald since USC over there in, in Carolina. Even though they got rid of Teddy. But I'm going to tell y'all now, don't sleep on the Denver Broncos. Teddy going to win games. Teddy going to win games in Denver. I saw something about Deshaun Watson trying to get to Denver. Yeah, bro, but you think he's going to be able to play this year? Yeah, I think so. It's just, it's just, you know. This whole league, but I'm at my like I said, my Super Bowl pick, bro, is is the Rams, bro. You giving them like me and my partner was saying, you giving these people, dog, who you can't score on. You giving them twenty plus a game now. You can't score on. Dude locking down half the field. <laughs> Dude coming. Three-time defensive MVP coming <laughs> on the front line in his prime right now. Yeah, Still yeah. in the prime his career. Ain't hurt, healthy, everything, boy. I like the round. Cooper Cup now. I like the round. Robert Woods now running around. I like the round. Super Bowl pick, that's hard. That's just hard for me at the beginning of the year. I mean, you got to say something because so much shit happened during the year and, you know, whoop woo Just different shit go on and who playing together and... You know what this reminds me of? I'm going to tell you exactly what this is. Remember when Denver got Peyton and that's all they needed? A nigga to come woo 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 right quick with Vaughn Mill and them with this D. Yeah, it's a good comparison. He in the same position, staff. good comparison. He in the same position. It's a good comparison. You just went to the Baltimore Ravens, man. You just went to the 2000 Ravens, Stafford. You got to show up. Man, Titans got Julio Jones, bro. Titans got Julio. So fuck? now, like they say, you can't double team Julio and AJ Brown. You got the best back in the league right here. They receivers gonna have fun this year. That play action pass gonna be. Man, <laughs> man. What the fuck? That play action pass. I'm glad they're in the AFC. It's for a Saints fan. Mm-hmm. 
But we see y'all in the Super Bowl, you know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. God damn, I feel sorry for the people in these division. <clears throat> gotta, man, you got to tackle Derek. They're Derek still going to have to beat the Colts. The Colts got a loaded, young, good team. Man, you got to tackle that dude all game, Derrick Henry. Leonard and them coming. Leonard, you know, Leonard top five line back in his league. Davis Leonard over there in the coast. You know what I'm saying? And I like that boy from Wisconsin, Jonathan Taylor. Man, we, we talking about Derrick Henry. You yeah, know. About, you talking about Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry. <laughs> he ready to get it 32 <laughs> times tonight. The dude, the dude a giant. You know what I'm saying? He a giant. Who won't tackle that dude all game, man? He a man amongst bars, bro. Man, come on, man. I got to try to tackle this dude and check Julio. Man, he going to have to run. That's on the defense. I got to protect my money and make sure Julio don't be getting all these stats on me. I can't be tackling this dude all game. Look at, click on that. My dog, my, my dog Chris Johnson, to the right. You know, this is a tight and great. Yeah, the click on it. We heard what he said. Yeah, but right. he, 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 yeah you he ain't got to click. expecting big things. Oh, yeah, we can read it, it at the bottom. Saying? We can read it. If you could pause it. But, yeah. That's yes, indeed, man. What, Derrick Henry about to run for 22, Because what you going to give up? As a, as a coach coming into the game, all right, we got to give up something. Man, I guess it's going to be Brown. Y'all going to depend on Brown, these Brown, go ahead on and cut up. Yeah, y'all going to depend on these cornerbacks to, to hope they can hold their own. Because you're not just going to let Derrick Henry Henry's try to problem. run up. Come on, man. He's going to score. Yeah. He, he fast as a motherfucker. They're going to be hard to beat. They're going to be hard to beat. You're going to have to outscore them people. It's going to be hard to do that, too, because they're going to have the ball. Yeah, then they coached up, too. They well coached. That's a good Super Bowl pick. Titans. I showed you the ticket now. got $100 bring him nine bands. If the Rams are on. Um, no, it wasn't the Rams. It wasn't the Rams. Yes, it is. The Rams in Tennessee. He get nine bands off a of hundred bucks. That's a damn good hundred dollar bet. <laughs> That's a damn good hundred dollar bet, man. Derrick Henry <laughs> is six three, two hundred and thirty eight pounds. That's a train coming through. Man, Utah look like they done pulled it off. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. When people doing y'all that without this start, starting point guard. What you think about Kyler Murray, bro? Man, I love Kyler Murray, man. I love Kyler Murray. Who who, who they just got? Did, didn't he get another weapon or something? Yeah, he got um. I mean, I know DeAndre over there now. No, they just got somebody. I thought bro. they got somebody else to help him out. They scary to me, bro, because like Kyler Murray, man, he, can, he fast. He can throw the ball wherever. If they get it figured out, that offense is slowed down, slowed down a little bit where, where you really can know how to be consistently making great decisions. AJ Green. AJ Green. That's who they still that's still a dog. Out. Him and who the other them they they, they that's help him out. Still a dog. AJ Green. AJ Ice Green. Ward, man, always like DeAndre John, man. Yeah. DeAndre um, John. With Christian Kirk. Christian Kirk. Come on, man. Christian, Christian Kirk. Kirk dog. They do the dogs, huh? Yes, indeed. Man. You know what I'm saying? But that boy from Clemson who went over there, that DB. That safety that run a full three. I forgot his name. Nice. Three linebacker running all over. Nice. Remember when he they beat a Alabama? He was single digit or something in, in Clemson. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, I think. But uh, he, he, what he is, 41 or something for Arizona. Man, that boy nice. Them people loaded on paper. They still got your boy in the mall line. They, they picked up Malcolm Butler. They got the highest paid safety in the league, number 32, Buda Baker. Buda Baker, nice. Highest paid safety in the league right now. Eddie, ja- he, Eddie Jackson was the highest from the Bears, from Alabama. He was the highest mm-hmm. paid safety in the league, but they just gave Boo the Baker the money. Honey Badger number three. Speaking of Honey Badger, we never talked about the New Orleans great. You know what I'm saying? He was yeah, elected man. to the uh, All-Decade team. Shout out to Tyron Matthew, one of the best to ever come through Sick, NOLA. Bro. 
You know what I'm saying? He holding Hell it down dude. for the yeah, city. Bro. First ballot Hall of Fame in my book. Yes, and fucking deep. And, 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 and I yes, was. Yes, indeed. And, you know, eight years ago, we wouldn't have, I, I, I wouldn't have thought that far with him. I knew he was going to have an excellent NFL career. I didn't see first battle Hall of Fame out of Tyron Matthew. He exceeded my expectations. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I I didn't I see mean, first I didn't, battle I didn't Hall think of about Fame, Hall you know? of Fame, and all that. But I definitely thought this I didn't think he was gonna one be of one of the best to ever play the game. That's I felt what I'm like saying. I mean I think I may have felt like that. You was on the he hall. Too, he no that dude used to single handedly do his thing on the biggest stages ever. College atmosphere, championship games, Saturday nights and shit. Man, that dude was showing up, bro. I mean, how he always made a play? It was fucking me up. LSU, how did he all? I missed him at the all. I ain't know nothing about him at the all. But yeah, man. LSU, dog, this dude, this man blocking punts. You know, he motherfucking running punts back. All that, he, bro. I mean, this nigga tipping every. Every quarterback pass catching this bitch, taking off. You know what I'm saying? He know how to strip motherfucker. No, that nigga all nigga, man. Like, he one of the best ever, son. He like, one of the for best. Sure. He one of the best ever. All decade team. And he come and hit. All pro, four times all pro. He ain't no huge dude. Like, you know, on the field wise, yeah. you know. He ain't no, what is he, 5'9", 175? Man, dude, living like that, man. Say, bro, look at his on the field, look, man. Look at his accomplishments, man. You, you ain't got to tell me, man. Got a national championship. He won number seven. Look, three time, three time All Pro, second team All Pro, two time Pro Bowler, two thousand ten decade team. All so decade from team. from two thousand ten, the man should have won a Heisman, man. Look, he right. was the best safety in the league for ten years. Yeah. SEC defensive player of the year. Him and Earl Thomas. Little bit of 5'9", one SEC player. No, dude. not the SEC defensive player of the year. That's cool, but what's on top of it? The Chuck the, Bennett yeah, Dick no, Award. Yeah, 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 the, the best, the, the best the defensive, defensive player in the country. Yeah. <laughs> the Benedict. Yeah, bro. <laughs> See, <You> bro. <laughs> Man, dude, a dog, bro. I yeah, mean, like, bro. all ever dog. All ever. If you got dog on there, you could put him as the motherfucking... The picture. And and like I was telling I was telling somebody the other day and because a, a little dude had said it, we was talking about the safeties in the league and we brought Tyron up. And the, and Lil Young and Lil P was like, Man, I'm telling you Stu, bro, you know, he's he's still the best safety in the league right now. And I had to think. I said, if he not, he can say that. He can say that yeah, man, all look, day right now. Man, he, dude. Dude, he could say, because he's man. still young. He he ain't number 28, 29. He could still feel like he the best safety in the league right now. He just made all pro in the Pro Bowl. Man, he that nigga, man. He the number three paid safety in the league. Yeah, and he a leader, bro. You can see yeah. that from the, just the coverage now on him. You know, they respect his mind. Now they know what's happening. I mean, they been respect. I feel like everybody respected his mind. But I may, I, the outside looking in, I feel like, he probably have exceeded people's expectations, though. Yes, you know he, he did, dog. Because what he did, yeah. yeah. To me, you, he didn't. You can't predict. You can't. You can't put what he done did on nobody. Really coming you in, you know what I'm saying? You can't. So, it's different. So he exceeded but what he everything. Did at LSU, I, I never thought you could see some shit like that. Yeah, right. So I automatically thought. Man, this nigga cold as a motherfucker. Like, he doing <laughs> shit you never saw before. How you doing this shit? Say, bro. How you make a play every game or two plays every... Like, that don't happen, bro. Like, dudes may have one or two of them in their career. You was doing that shit every game, dog. Ooh, Picking this bitch. That right? dude was awarded the Chuck Benedict Award. Give him to the year's best defensive player. This marked the second straight year at LSU defensive player won the national award. So Pat wanted the year before the Benedict. He put the number seven on and won it the next year. So look, speaking on that, I'm on the honey badger, I'm on the honey badger Twitter early. Right? Yeah. Somebody tweeted something about uh Stingley. And uh Honey Badger got on there. If he won the thought or the Benedict, I'm giving LSU a million dollars. 
I'm, I'm giving LSU another uh, million dollars. Here you go, right here. Derek Stingley might just be the best athlete to take the field this fall. Honey Badger replied, duh, he's number seven. If he went to throw up other Heisman, I will donate another million to LSU. Now, which one the Thorp is? The Thorp is, uh, man, now you got me on that one. Yeah, the Thorp, now. You got me on that one. The Thorp, man. You know what's crazy? Just a right quick before I wrap that up. Tyrant, how he played at LSU was similar, similar. Not all the way, but they had. They, was awarded they, to the top defensive back, not the country off the top. Right. So boom, he remind me of David Boyd, bro. In the just all the different shit they do. David Boyd was the kicker. He playing on offense. Everything. He the best linebacker you I ever saw. That's you know, now he did, he my, probably play safety in college. But my pop saw him at St. Louis. They played against they were the number two team in the nation at the time. It was the game to go to the dome, West Monroe versus St. Louis. My daddy said he did everything that night. He almost beat LSU itself. That's the game that LSU offered him. They couldn't believe he was fucking um, West Monroe up like that. People had Barkevious Mango, the number one defensive player in the country. You remember when we got on that 2000 defense we had in the 9-6 game from Alabama? Mingo? Yeah. Yeah. No, St. Dog played them at tag on. It was the game to go to the dome. St. Dog lost to him by one point. Honey Badger, pick six, kick return. And scored on offense that night. Sorry, so, I'm Matthew. Tyra Matthew strip fumble that night. Pick yeah. six. And, and I saw kick return. Saw he David ran Ball back. Did that against Hineville against the Lorraine the Landry brothers. Brothers. The Landry brothers. We was winning. We was up by like twenty something, bro. At Hineville, David Boyd had like eighteen tackles, two three touchdowns. A fumble return for and a touchdown. And they went down to win the title. A they putt were, fake for a touchdown. They had number two, Darius Renard, who played with uh, who played with Tim Austin and all them at um at West Virginia. Uh, before it, this was before Tim Austin came to West Virginia. This was before Geno Smith. Now I forgot your bar name or whatever. Who was the quarterback? But yeah, man. Just speaking on Tyron, we had never spoken on man. You gotta get get a man his flowers, Tyron, man. Yes, Tyron Matthew. Now, I, I said that to say this, as far as resume-wise, you know, everybody have their own opinion on what they saw. But resume-wise, can't nobody touch it. Tyron Matthew is the best hands down football to ever come through the New Orleans area. Tyron Matthew is the best football player to ever come through the New Orleans area. He's the first battle Hall of Famer. You name me another. We ain't talking about Pete Manning, though. No. We ain't, we ain't putting Pete Manning. We ain't saying Pete Manning ain't come through New Orleans. All right. But you know, Peyton Manning went to Tennessee. Peyton Manning was one of them camps with his dad, <coughs> with his dad and all that. Right, you gonna rule out Peyton Manning. You gonna rule out Peyton Manning. But uh, hands down, Tyron Matthew, no disrespect to Ryan hey, Clark. Marshall Falk. No, no, no. That's tough, Marshall Falk. He not. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what the nigga said, man. Hey, hey, you know, we blowing this weed <laughs> out. We, we, you know, we full of this weed. You got to think We blame it on the fire. Like, and the tire up there for sure, look, bro. Yeah. I need to smack myself. Boy, Marshall. Last slide. Wasn't thinking. But no, indeed. He can't challenge that. I don't care what he do. He can't challenge that. I forgot. You know, I'm not thinking. I'm thinking in my error, and I ain't go back further enough. No, indeed, no. Marshall. Yeah. Marshall might be the best thing to come through Louisiana. Marshall was the first battle Hall of Famer, you know, got the jacket on. You know, we we actually don't still don't know if Tyron gonna go first battle. You know how these voters be. Marshall really was undeniable, first battle. You know, I forgot about Marshall, yeah, he can't top Marshall. <laughs> In New Orleans, you know why? Cause I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. This this the one thing why he can't top Marshall. 
Marshall really was the franchise player on the on the on the dynasty team. Tyra Matthew was, you know, but Marshall nigga was the Marshall offense was the defense. Kurt Warner was offense, not defense. the biggest too though. You know, yeah, Kurt Warner was not the really man. Even, beat though, even though Kurt Warner was good, <coughs> came out the street with bagging groceries. But that was Marshall team, right? Right or wrong? Am I, am I tripping? That was Marshall you team, my boy. You mean that was tripping. Marshall team, my That's why you made me tripping. Yo. Kurt Warner, bro. It probably became Kurt team Kurt at, one, was, at one point. Was slinging but it was Marshall, 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 the greatest. But we know too. Marshall was right. was the you know Marshall was the best player. Right. Say Marshall was the best player. Yeah. Marshall but Kurt player. Warner was probably a little bit more important. You probably couldn't do it without Kurt Warner. You know, you probably had to get Kurt Warner was throwing that. He was, oh yeah, you know. And we leave him out, cause they always leave my man out. Sorry about this too, Reggie Wayne. They always, you always was the underdog. I gotta put you up there too. We might have to put you in front, Tyron, cause you was the first battle Hall of Fame caught for all them yards too, dog. Reggie Wayne. I thought about Reggie Reg Wayne. Reg 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 Wayne, Paul, but Reggie Wayne, they, but he went first battle. He just went. Reggie Be Soon as he got on but the look, battle, he went. Reggie me, Wayne. I only thought more. I'm still thinking Tyron over Reggie Wayne. And I can feel you that. Know, football. But I ain't mad with you. I, you know you why? say Reggie. Because look, this is why. Reggie went out. I'm putting LSU and all that in. And you know, in Reggie NFL. Went off after you. I know that. He, 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 the U. I know that. Yeah, <laughs> but he know nobody did what Tyron did. Like, he, the, the, the. The impactfulness of it. Alright, now let me ask you this, because he do claim New Orleans, you know, same roles, you know, he do claim New Orleans. Yeah, yeah. Damn. That's our metro area, that's our I'm metro area. I'm gonna put area. Ed and all that, because yeah, I mean, we can't. Tyron ain't top you know, I got Ed, I got Ed the best ever. That's yeah. See, you got, you got Ed. Like, that's hard. That's Ed, man. That's Ed. We got down, we be speaking on all that, man. This backyard is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. We don't have to share with nobody, boy. That's why I say LSU is the dream job. Texas, all that, they got to share. Think about it. Old Miss got to share with Mississippi State. Alabama got to share with all. South Carolina got to share with Clemson. North Carolina, Florida got to share with three schools. Yeah. California got to share with five schools. That's why uh, your boy got on the... One of the more coaches, man. He, uh, I want to say Steve Spurrier, one of them, he was like, nothing can't top me down in recruiting football. That's the best backyard in the country. He was like, you know, they don't have to share with nobody. We don't share ours with nothing. LSU you gonna get whatever they want. Plus, now we big on the market with the out of, with, with the out of state recruiting going good. We, we've been recruiting Texas good. Like, you know, Jamal Adams was Mr. Texas. We stole him from Texas, Texas and you know, TCU, all these programs doing good. We stole him. You know what I'm saying? We stole Pat Peterson from Florida. You know? But um, this backyard, beautiful, boy, in Louisiana. Oh, and another thing, for, for the show in, the people going in the room tomorrow, boy, it might be expanded to the 12 teams. The college oh, football college, playoff, bro. The college football playoff might be going to 12. It's, it's, it's time, bro. Yeah, man. That's, that's, that's it's time it. to bust it open, though. Yeah, man, it's time it. to bust it open, bro. 12 teams. Then you really have It's time to bust it open. Because this don't make sense, bro. Asking somebody to be perfect ain't sports. Sports is ups and downs. Trials and tribulations. Adversity. You mean to tell me I'm ten and two? I can't get a shot at the title. Yeah, I'm at home. I'm, you know this. This been going on for a hundred years. Why nobody ain't never go in the room and say stop this foolishness? For real, man. You know we ten and three. Yeah, we lost to LSU, Alabama, and Auburn. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, vice versa, you know, the University of, uh, just say, uh, Virginia Tech. 
Yeah, we lost to Clemson, Miami, and Florida State. You know, but we we still just should deserve. You know. Now I'm not sure if three teams are getting that twelve if you lose three, but two. Two, come on, that's gonna be a bunch of twos. It's gonna be a bunch of twos. It's gonna be a bunch of twos. Like, come on, that's a good goal. We can well, go ten good. and two. You don't think about sixteen, but if you're a real good up. college team, like you really feel like you're a championship team, I'm pretty sure it's a bunch of two losses. Remember the year we won with two losses? Like, man, we were, this is a championship team this year. You remember the year we won it with two losses because they said both our losses. We only had one loss in regulation. We got lost to Kentucky in triple overtime. When niggas did the miracle shit on us yeah. and through the bomb. Yeah. That was when Devin Henderson and them, you know, uh, Flynn and them. That was the year Flynn and them won it. They won it with two losses. I'm just saying, you know, I know for a fact Alabama would have stole a couple of these championships with them two losses. The years that they didn't win it, <laughs> they would have gotten that 12. <laughs> and I feel like LSU would have made some noise up yeah, here. Which, like Leonard them would have made noise in the playoffs with them two losses. Till they ran in there, you know, back in Alabama and they said we're going to stuff the body. You know, Odell Beckham them with their two losses with Mettenberg and, you know, our oh, yeah. only so losses. going to be in trouble, boy. Remember them years when Tim Tebow was here? Our only losses would be the Alabama and Tebow. You mean to tell me we wasn't good enough still to compete for the championship? That shit foolishness, though. They got a, a 12. 12. Let's get this shit right. We still gonna have the Rose Bowl, all that. We just gonna call this shit that. It's gonna sell the same tickets. It's gonna be the same thing. Then we just gonna call these playoff games Peach Rose. Once they make it to the final four, it's the bowl shit. They and the four SEC teams. Yeah, they still gonna be able to keep the four bowls. It's gonna be a 12 playoff. That shit gonna play regular. When they get down the full, it go down to these bowls. Simple as that. I'm glad, though. We been overdue, though. And I think they gonna pass it because, you know, the public, you got politicians and shit speaking out, like everybody going against it like it's time. Social media done pushed them into doing it. It's, you know. Yeah, bro. You need that, like, you know, that was the stupidest thing ever. You gotta be perfect to play for the time. And it's been like that for a hundred years, and you don't ain't nobody say that. Yeah, and then they had undefeated teams when you get that. <laughs> like Auburn, and when we had the, no, I don't want to say when we had the two losses. What year we shared that championship with USC? What year that was? When we shared that championship uh, with no, USC? Richard Bush, no, huh? All right, you remember when fucking um, Auburn had Thunder and Lightning in them? When they had that like, Cadillac Williams and I can't remember. They had a two-headed monster one. One of the best backfields to ever come from college. They went undefeated. Didn't didn't play for it. I remember uh the year that they put Alabama in the game, but Alabama made the committee look good. It didn't backfire on the committee. They beat the piss out of LSU. But they shouldn't have played for the title. They didn't win their own conference championship. LSU shouldn't have had to play the people against. It was Justin Blackman now. When your boy with the Brandon Wheaton was throwing that bitch all over the field, Oklahoma State really was good that year. The dog. first day, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but he was before no, the day. after that. He was after that. Yeah, after that. My bad, my bad. He, he, come, he, 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 come, he come break some of their shit. Yeah, he, Justin he, he Blackman. reminded you of that. And they too. fucked over him behind the weed. I ain't about to stop pissing for this shit. But dude, career over. You mean know, the weed? Yeah. He come get caught with the weed early out the gate. Just fuck that nigga was cold, but Shit. definitely, boy. Man, who you want? Who was talking about the local cat, bro? You want to tell you this? We could do that. Oh, Aaron Anderson. Aaron Anderson looked good in the spring game for Cup. You said LSU. You said committed to LSU. Bro. He's committed to LSU. The first wide receiver under six feet to get a scholarship from LSU. A full ride. That's damn. Yeah. You see, they just they, they came. He got a ranking eight and eight. He's number eight in the country right now. Wide receiver Aaron number Anderson. Eight, number eight in the country. That's a good ranking, man. That's that's what's up right there, bro. That's what's happening, man. You see, uh, that's um Kenneth brother brother. That's Kenneth ride. brother Kenneth brother. brother. Shout, Shout out, out to Lil B. Kenneth brother. Shout Indeed. out to Lil B. Oh yeah. 
B B been a cool this side of the thing. I met them, I, 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 I met him one time. I told him, yeah, I like his little click, what he doing and everything. Ever since he was in high school, he just had a little something about him. And I hope he passing that down to his little bro. Both of y'all be you the ticket too, be the ticket, but boy little bro. Y'all on y'all right, way. Man, let's guide him right. Guide him right. Be y'all sure doing the right doing thing. What we need to do, bro. Shout out to them, man. Kenneth brother and uh, what's his name? Aaron. Aaron Anderson. Aaron Anderson. Aaron Anderson. Aaron Aaron Anderson. Anderson. Number eight ranked receiver in in the in the ESPN one hundred. I'm about to give you a That's proper uh, call right now. Heat, bro. You see number four. I might have given a proper one sure right been one of them this oh, year. Oh, no, he moved down to 12. Number 12 wide receiver in the nation. You're oh, a four-star recruit. Whatever, man. You know, you're up there, man. That's big shit. That's, that's big shit. Committed. That's big shit, period. You know, that's, our, that's, that's part of our local. Oh, and shout right. out to, you know, because all this is in, is in our area. You know, we don't discriminate just because we're from New Orleans. I love my surrounding parishes. You know, shout out to Shaz Preston from St. James High School. He the number three wide receiver in the country. You know, that's right up the road, right by Dwight right. McGlad. Take that ride down that line, you yeah, right there at St. James yeah, Stadium, yeah. man. And mighty mention that, shout out to Booker T running back, man. I forgot his name, but they got him ranked the best running back in New Orleans. Yeah, in his class, so, yeah. Shout out Booker T, shout man. Shout out Booker T running back. Running back. They, they got, got him ranked like the, 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 maybe the, the the second or third best back in Louisiana. So I saw that somewhere. So shout out to that boy too. I and uh, too, yeah, shout out. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna meet a couple of these coaches and a couple of these players and maybe can just have a five minute talk with them, you know, just about a few things and what's going on. Like I would love to sit down and talk with Coach Bryce. Uh, I forgot Bryce last oh, name. Bryce Brown called head coach, but man, give a shout out, man. Thirty-three year old head coach took the job at twenty-seven to twenty-eight years old. Been been to the dome seven times, yeah, yes, man. Indeed. Shout you out know, Bryce, played man. for Carl, moved on up, and he's running a sound, disciplined program. He's sending these guys to college. You know, man. Shout out to Bryce. Shout out to T. All Howard. Them, all you guys that come. Hell yeah. Y'all doing a good job over there, man. Some good situations, bro. Getting them yep. right. Getting them right. Shout bro. out to all y'all, man. Shout out to Carver Head Coach Nate. Shout out to, I don't know your name, Mac, Mac Main's Head Coach. You know what I'm saying? I like what all y'all programs doing around the city. Beat that right over there. Right. Um, I forgot the name. All of y'all are doing oh, real yeah, good. Real right, good. Competing in this shit. You know, I'm a chip. big. Prep, you know I love. I got, I have a passion for prep ball, for high school ball, football, and basketball. And as a kid, all we dreamed of as prep fans is championships to come to us in New Orleans. When I was growing up, all for for twenty years, we would not win nothing down here. You know, we saw Greed and them win it. That was the only teams I seen. I seen DJ Augustine and my boy Brock win it. You know, at Brother Martin, but. Nobody was winning in the football, man. It was just like, you know, they dominated for so long, bro. Shout out to all of the, the whole local scene. Y'all that stepped it up a notch, man. We competing for state titles. We we have schools around here now. It's the title of bus. Yeah. You know, yeah. Warren Easton called they yeah. thinking title of bus. McMain and Carl, they're thinking title of bus. That's the mentalities we need in the city, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That's what's going on. Yep. McMahon going to be devastated if they don't make it back to the championship as well as Carl. Right. Warren Easton and Carl, they devastated if they don't make it to the dome. With the number one offense and the number one defense in the state. Yes, indeed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? Yes, indeed. So, yeah, bro. We gonna wrap it up with that, dude. D, bro. Fuck, you know. This is a chill. Yeah, we gotta wrap chill. it up. We gotta wrap it up. You dig? We ain't had too much crazy shit to see tonight. You know what I'm saying? A little off the off the menu, yeah. You feel me? Kind of a little off the menu tonight. Off the menu. You feel me? Don't sleep on my bucks, up. though. I made that stupid pick and then put my money on the bucks. You know. We coming back strong. Bro. I ain't giving up on my. Yeah, pick. so what? We tied. We, we two one now. Utah 1-2 by 6, man.
Oh, man. Oh, 